the rectangular probability distribution and conditional probabilities. Example 1, sketching this rectangular distribution. The width here is 10, so the height is 1 divided by the width. So 1 divided by 10, 0 0.1 will go here. So in this interval, f of x is equal to 0 0.1 along here. As soon as you go outside the interval, so elsewhere, so when x is more than 20 on this side, and when x is less than 10, then the probability function is 0. So it's 0 elsewhere. So we're calculating the probability that x is greater than 16. Given that, it is known that the value is greater than 14. Given that means there is a restriction on our graph here. We're only looking at the region where x is greater than 14. So we're restricting this graph to values of x greater than 14. And then we'll calculate this probability. So this is the restricted graph. And we're looking for the probability that x is greater than 16, this. you'll see that I've removed all of the other numbers on the sketch. We're only going to compare the two widths that you can see on the sketch now. And here's one of them, between 14 and 20. That was the restricted part of our graph. That has a width of 6. And the probability that x is greater than 16, this part, 16 to 20, that's a width of 4. So 4 out of 6 is the answer, or 2 thirds. So the probability that x is greater than 16, given that it is known that the pro uh, value of uh, x is greater than 14, is 2 thirds. So this time, I did not use the formula that probability is uh, width times height. Yeah, it's convenient here just to look at the widths. Part B, another restriction, it says given that, and it says the value is less than 17.5. So I'm going to restrict this graph to values of x less than 17.5. The probability that x is less than 13.5, that's the region we need to shade. And now considering two widths, so we've got the restricted region here, 10 to 17.5, a width of 7.5. And we want probabilities uh, for x less than 13.5, so that's this region here, it's got a width of 3.5. So the answer is 3.5 divided by 7.5, which gives... So we've worked out the probability that x is less than 13.5, given that x is less than 17.5. A conditional probability. Example 2, the rectangular distribution on the interval 0, 60, which will give us the following sketch. the context and the probability of waiting for at least 20 minutes. There is no mention of the words given that. This is not a conditional probability.
So the probability is the width times the height. Part B, there's a restriction this time. So I meet someone, someone else who has already been waiting for the same bus for 20 minutes. So I can modify some of the wording here and think of it like this. Given that, someone else has already been waiting for the same bus for 20 minutes. So now I've restricted the values of x between 20 and 60. This is conditional probability. It's going to be something like this. And the restricted part is here. Given that x is greater than 20, x is greater than 20. So the probability of waiting for at least 15 minutes it's for the same bus. So this 15 minutes and this 20 minutes that somebody else has already been waiting for, we need to add them together to get 35 minutes. So we want Px more than 35, given that x is more than 20. This is the probability we want to calculate. So by considering only the two widths, that we can see now. So from 20 to 60 minutes, that's a width of 40, and from 35 to 60, a width of 25, and we just divide those two. So the probability will be 25 over 40. So just looking at the problem again in the context. So it says that I arrive and somebody has been waiting already for 20 minutes. So I've arrived right there when somebody has already waited for 20 minutes. And the probability that I wait for at least 15 minutes, so 20 plus 15, takes you to 35. So I'm going to wait 35 minutes or more. So this is the probability this part here that we've worked out.